And uh, I think we're seeing much more of that starting to come out and also to, uh, you know, gin up uh, uh, problems for Iran. Um, this uh, this whole thing looks like it, 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 it had every intention of killing people who were not in al-Qaeda, not members of al-Qaeda. Sure. Wayne Madsen, well, yeah, al-Qaeda is a tool used to kill the Constitution, kill the Bill of Rights, and let the military-industrial complex take over the whole world. In closing... Uh, any other intel on other big breaking stories that we should watch the horizon for? Uh, and uh, but 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 one more question along this line before you, uh, you answer um, that one: Is Israel planning? Are Israel planning to attack Iran? Is the United States planning to back them up? What what do these statements by Biden mean about he that Israel has a right by itself to attack? And the U.S. will support that. Is 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 Israel in a ramping up mode for all of this aggression, or are they, uh, or are they uh, be becoming discredited in any way, or do they just not care? And it's damn the maneuvers go straight at us. I mean, is this just where do you see things going? Well, two Israeli naval vessels just transit the Suez Canal with the permission of Egypt, I might add. Uh, 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 and it said that that was a message, a uh, warning message to Iran. Uh, we know that the Netanyahu Lieberman government over there has every intention of launching an attack against Iran, uh, especially since Ahmadinejad is the, uh, was reelected as president. Um, uh, this is, a, this is a government that is extremely right wing, extremely pro war, um, so I don't think we can uh, rule anything. I, I believe that the Israeli government under Netanyahu and Lieberman is much more uh, warlike than any of the uh, any of the missives we're hearing out of Tehran. Uh, they're in a basically a defensive mode over there right now, uh, and they, they had all the, the turmoil on the streets. And I've reported that you know Soros and his gang uh, were basically uh, manipulating a lot of that uh, on both sides. I would add. Uh, as, as his want, as his want to do. Uh, but, uh, I, I believe, now this plane crash, uh, today, uh, uh, in, in Iran, it killed a number of, uh, Iranians of Armenian descent. They were on, the plane was on its way to Armenia. Armenia and Iran have very good, uh, close relations, but that, I, I believe that could be a warning message. That plane was seen, uh, the tail section was on fire before it crashed. Uh, it could be another case of sabotage, <laughs> but why do it? Uh, it, that could be a warning by this secret group. Don't probe too far because we're still active. We pulled this one off, and you know uh, the next the next plane could be uh, one uh, here in the United States. Uh, carrying, what about uh, Air France and that other one uh, that uh, crashed in the ocean? I mean, planes keep blowing up and falling into the ocean after strange terror alerts. Well, the, the Air France plane had two passengers on board who were flying to Geneva for the annual. A small arms survey where they come out and uh, talk. You know, they talk about uh, weapons proliferators, small arms proliferators. That's a multi-billion-dollar business. So it's quite clear that um, these pe these individuals were threats to that industry. Uh, one of the big kingpins in that industry is in Brazil. Um, there was another terrorist threat against another Air France plane from Buenos Aires. Uh, flying to Paris uh, just before that crash, uh, we we may have on our hands here a, a, a uh, an aviation terrorism group operating under government cover, and um, that I think should work everybody. Well, it's perfect. I mean, the globalist, the the Interpol international system runs airport security, and it's it's always been their favorite way to kill people, blowing them up in aircraft. And Israeli security companies uh, mostly. Uh, ex Mossad individuals uh, have contracts to provide a lot of security at airports, including many here in the United States and for, for many international airlines, including U.S. airlines. Oh, it just gets worse and worse. And any word on when they're planning to go ahead and attack Iran and how? Well, you know, we've, we've seen so many, uh, 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 so much chatter, what they call indications and warning in the past. Uh, the Israelis will never show their and so these, you know, sending the ships through the Suez Canal, uh, you can never pinpoint uh, any type of attack. But let's face it, they can, Israel cannot attack Iran without the military support of the United States. We control the airspace between uh, Israel and Iran, so anything they would do would have to have our, uh, our cooperation. And was now, the revolution it, trying to get the United States behind the attack to demonize the Iranians? Well, I think so, and it's also, you know, try to, try to soften up. 
uh, Iran by creating a domestic problem in that country to create maybe uh, uh, rifts within the Iranian military, within Iranian intelligence and security. Uh, whether that has happened or not, I think it's anyone's guess. Obviously, yeah, I agree with you. I think it was a smokescreen cover to insert more operatives, and during the fog of war and hysteria, uh, to set up some other programs they're going to be launching very soon. Well, that's right, and uh, uh, but that, but I think the the, the the Obama's got a real problem. He's trying to do this outreach to Iran, and with more revelations coming out about this JSOC uh, Mossad operation. Uh, targeting Iranian uh, military commanders and Iranian scientists, uh, that could really derail uh, anything uh, uh, the the administration has in mind. As oh, far you're as saying outreach. this is like Bay of Pigs trying to sabotage Kennedy? Well, it, it very well could be, absolutely. All right, Wayne Madsen, uh, we really appreciate you coming on the broadcast with us today, and we'll talk to you again next week, WayneMadsenReport.com. Appreciate all the info.